your body Jerome Wright here and once again you're joining on my Jerome Wright YouTube channel here on YouTube um, in this video um, I'm gonna be decoding Quaker Oats um, brand which is um, a depiction so they say of um, William Penn okay um, it's my position that these um, that this cereal has a cult rooted affiliation and it involves ancient rooted religion and it involves ancient rooted royalty it's my position also that this cereal brand is contaminated and it is contaminating that of mankind, point blank. I'm going to leave it like that. I'll let you draw your conclusion. I also have this on my Facebook page as well as my channel and my Google Plus across Twitter. I have it, I have it everywhere, okay? So, um, if you have a problem with this, Quick Oaks have a problem with this, then that's what's great about America. They can go ahead and, um, and, 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 and take it to the next level where they want to take it at. All right. Thank you. Now, in this video, you see the Quaker Oaks guy. He's reflected mirrored image. We all know that back in the Renaissance era with Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo, they were talking about this mirroring thing. So wherever you see a mirror or see a reflection, it is talking about a mirrored image, a reflective image. My mirroring tech guy, Mike, I had based on what I know about this and what I've been discovering through my paranormal experience and encounter, I had Mike mirror the image for me. However, without mirroring, you Google ancient um, Quaker Oats um, cereal um, ads and you will see this image. Without even no mirror, you'll see that there is a head of a revolver right here. Now I have the highlighted version and I'm going to show you. I highlighted that revolver. What is a revolver? doing and that of a quick quicker oats ad i mean you can't see it unless you're shown that 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 um revolver nose the barrel of the revolver you don't see that there no one would actually know it's there until i highlighted it you see that so that's a problem the next thing is that the quicker oats let me go back to that revolver it has where we're at, where we're at, where we're at, um, where we're at with pure. Oh, right here on this little scroll, he has pure. This is a scroll. First of all, let's go back to the history of the of the scroll. The ancient scroll is used in the ancient religion, um, religion, and you see a lot of the religious clergy officials have the um, the scroll. Look at this pig. Okay, then look at the U. The U almost rounds off to make an O. And then the R, if you exclude that 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 um that extended leg on the R, this is created into a P. And this actually says Pope. So um I'm looking at this as saying Pope, pure Pope. That's what this is stating. Pure Pope. So you're probably saying, well, how do you get that? How do you arrive at that? I'm gonna show you something in a minute that's gonna blow you away about this. Here's where I took and and looped over the U to give the head to give the O, and I took the all I did was just erase that extended leg off the R, and we got Pope. The word Pope is there. Now, in further in a mirror, because the mirror creates a motion picture. When you slide a likeness of this image back over itself, it creates a motion picture going backwards in time. Now, that scroll that I just now showed you says pure Pope on it, transforms when mirrored into a likeness of a Pope. I also have that here. Oh, uh, where we at? This is a mirrored image, people. Look at this. The image of a Pope appears with a, a medallion at the center of his chest there's the Pope's hood the beard the Pope's hands are coming out that revolver which now becomes two the Pope is holding the revolver in his hands between his hands on both sides notice that the revolver ends are missing here and creates a perfect circle well, if you look closer at the end of my arrows, those slices that are missing create like a wafer 
which I call communion, the communion wafers. And it's showing you that the pieces of that gun are now in the cereal boxes, which creates the oats. Communion in a box. Now, people, this these guns are representation of the penis, the penile gland, DNA, sperm. Then we have the ancient rooted royalty where it's talking about the blood sprewing out of the chin now of this deformed Quaker Oso guy. You can see the orifices there. This is creates the blood. You're talking about ancient rooted DNA that calls for the genetic manipulation and the gene altering of mankind. And these assholes have figured out how to get it into your famous Quaker Oats cereal brands. Now, where are we at here? If that ain't enough, you turn it upside down, well, another mirrored image, and you turn it upside down, and you get the likeness of a ram, the ram's horns, mother of creation in there, and you get the devil image in the ram's mouth with big lips, the horns. There's a gesture in the, in, the, in the mouth of that guy. Oh, where's my other gesture at? Oh, I have that in the other. Um, hold on. Where's the image of the gesture? There's a queen's crown, the queen, the gesture. The gesture, oh yeah. Look in the mouth and you'll see the calm face. The face of the gesture. Um, where we at? I'm looking at this backwards. Do I have, yeah, I got the devil. Where's the queen? The image of the queen is right there. The crown is created here. And what else we have? Um, what else do I have highlighted there? Okay, and that would be the ram's nose. The not, I mean, the ram's nose will be right in here. Creates the head of a ram. All right, now I want to show you something else. It just doesn't stop there because it's actually several Quaker Oats ads. Here's another ancient famous Quaker Oats hat here where the Quaker Oats guy is holding a child without even mirroring this I see the image of a nun um, let me see how we're doing this I'm looking at this backwards okay I'll bring him in closer the image of a nun her veil her face and it's faced off with a witch looking woman who I dub as the mother of creation. But there's the image of the nun there. Okay. So that's without even mirroring. Now, and I have other um, images as well, too. But when you mirror this image, look what you get the gestures, the queen's crown, the arms coming up from the queen, the sleeves. Look. Look at this, her belly, her stomach, her face covered over with her hands. Her hand comes out and covers her eyes at, up, her chin, her mouth. You see that? And then she's on the body of another witch-like being, which is actually dubbing that of a cat. Her whole body creates, there's the mouth. You see this, people? A mirrored image from this with a man and a child. You get this. And there's much more to this. Much, 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 much more. But that's what you get. There is also something else about this. Oh, by the way, these images, people, all you have to do, multi-dimensional images, you spin them around, and you get other creations and other creatures which involved... Um, our Egyptian likenesses, our Asian likenesses, Buddhists, all of this appears with inside of there because it is all an evolution of man's kind that is being described in these ancient um, rooted images which calls for these um, cult alterings of mankind's being. Now, where are we at here? Also, when that image is, is turned upside, oh, here's the image of the woman with her I actually did the highlights and did some highlights with her hands coming around, covering the face, this, that, the third. But if you turn it around, we all evolved from. This shows us a black king figure. He's wearing a full hooded crown, 
the crown comes over his, his face. Here's the, the, the robe and his hands actually comes around and assistant in the queens, look, look at his hands, comes around and it holds a face in the middle. And then there is a face of a pig as well too. Now check this out. When you turn it back over, however, those hands become that of the queens. Look, watch this people. Look at this. Look how amazing this is. Here is the elbow. Here is the, um, the ruffles around the sleeves. You see this people and the hands covering the face. Now if you turn it over, those hands become that of this black king figure, this Nubian king figure, should I say, and his arms come down and it shows you how these beings evolved. Now, here's the last Quaker Oak ad. Now, this is not just the last one, but this is for the sake of this video, but I only have 15 minutes. Here's another Quaker Oaks ad. I have to go quicker now. I noticed that this ad is very, very of cult origins. It had faces all over. If you want to join me on Facebook, you can, because I have a lot of images on there. But I realized that this states, and you see these circles are not filled. If they were filled, this would put be a one, a nine, and zero, zero. This would be 1900. But if you turn it over upside down, everything disappears. And this becomes, now this is backwards down here, but if you're looking at it dead on, this becomes six, six, six. And I believe that I actually filled that in, but if you're looking at it backwards because I'm doing this video. So that's where we're at with that. Now, it gets more deeper than that. Because when this image is mirrored, it reminds me of Bacchus's um, birth of Venus because the baby is actually on the shelf. The baby is on the shelf. And by the way, I Google Bacchus's. Um, go to my Facebook page and actually I have an image of the mirrored Bacchus's birth of Venus, and it's just absolutely stunning and amazing. But when you mirror this baby on the shelf through this Quaker Oats ad, people. When you, when you mirror this, you know what you get? The monkey god, I think they call it Jakira or Jakara. You see this? When the image is mirrored, there's the edges of the shell. There's the baby down here. You see that? You get the monkey god. Not just the monkey inside of here. There's the eye, the eye, the nostril, the lips. But he's a happy monkey. And his forehead, eye, eye, mouth area. You see that? And then if you turn this guy upwards, upside down, you get crowns and, and the necklaces turn into crowns and you get other beings. And look at this face here, people. Look at this hat. Look at this witch's face, eye, eye, nose, mouth. You see that female in there? Look at her face appear for you. Look at that. Cheekbone, cheekbone, nostril, nostril, mouth. Like stuff you see in Disney. And what do you call her? Mystique, Mysteria, or something like that there. they You see this? These are where all of these images are coming from. Then you see these guys, look, eye, chin, mouth, looking in that way. This, people, is where reality lies. In these mirrored images of, of ancient images, and these people knew who we were genetically all along and to this day they are contaminating the genetic being of mankind. Look at this. Look at her face. Eye, eye. Look at how her 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 hat or uh, helmet, whatever you want to call it, comes over, comes down the center of her nose. Look at this people. And all in the center a Mandarin looking monkey. And if you back off of this image, it morphs into other images. People, when are you going to wake up? Look at this. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end that video there. And people, things are going to change because I'm not going to let up until there is a recognition to all of this. Look at this. All from 
this. My name is Jerome Wright. I'm going to end that video there. Thank you for your viewing.